Welcome back to week two of the NFL season. And this is your Baltimore Ravens matchup for this week. The Houston Texans. The 0 one Houston Texas, Texans. I'm sorry. And everyone saw Houston lose to Kansas City on opening night. So we know that didn't go well for them. And um, they doubled back with um, the best, if not the second best team. I think the best team in the NFL. So you probably got the two best teams in your first two weeks of the season. Kind of sucks to be the Houston Texans. But here we are for this preview, and um, I'm going to you know, give you some numbers. Then I'm going to give you my three keys to to win. And um, matter of fact, let's review a little bit. My keys from last week, time and possession, we lost by some seconds, which you know we were up big, so that's probably why that didn't work. The second one was um, don't let the Cleveland receivers get any yak, which they didn't barely even catch balls, so they really didn't get yak. And then the third was make Baker Mayfield go to his second and third reads, which we did a good job of that. That's why the Browns were not very successful versus us. But moving on to the Houston Texans. Um, time possession for last week and us against the Browns and them against the Chiefs. They possessed about 25 minutes, but they were kind of blown out toward the end, so time possession really doesn't matter. We had it 29 minutes. Again, didn't really matter because it was a blowout. Uh, their top rusher for us was Lamar. He had seven rushes for 45 yards. For them, it was David Johnston. He had 11 rushes for 77 yards and a touchdown. Uh, the top passer, obviously, for us was Lamar. He had he was 20 for 25 with 275 yards and three TDs. Uh, top passer for them, obviously, was um, Deshaun Watson. He was uh, 20 for 32, one touchdown, one interception, 253 yards. Uh, sacks. We had two people with one sack. They had a guy with one sack, Martin. Um, pass defended. We had seven guys with. No, we had seven passes defended, sorry. But Calais Campbell had three by himself a tip, a batted ball, and um, we had two batted balls in the tip that led to the interception. Um, they had two. As a, as a whole team, they only had two. The best wide receiver for us, it was Mar Marquise Brown. He had five catches, 101 yards in the first half. Um, Mandrews had five catches for 58 yards with two TDs. And for them, it was Fuller. Fuller had eight catches for 112 yards. Fuller's their speedy guy. He's he's fast, fast, fast. But, you know, and, well, Cooks is fast, too. So they got – and Steels is fast. So they 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 pretty formidable on the receiver end. But um, not to give you a whole lot of fluff, I'm going to give you these three keys to victory for us and get you out of here on this beautiful Friday morning. Uh, again, number one, I talked about it you know, last video, time of possession. We got to win time of possession unless it's a blowout. Time of possession is key to us, uh, keeping our defense fresh, keeping Deshaun Watson and those with receiver weapons off the field, and just making them quit defensively. They still have a Watt. Watt's formidable. They have some guys that play linebacker that are pretty good. McKinney and, and those guys. Number 41 is pretty good also. I can't remember his name. But win time possession, keep them guys on the field and get them tired. Number two, make Watson stay in the pocket. Do not let Deshaun Watson get outside and create like he normally does. He gets outside the pocket and, and, and does things Deshaun does. You see how he led him to victory in the playoffs and how he jumped out on the Chiefs. Uh, in the uh, playoff game, even though, you know, last week wasn't so good for him. But keep him in the pocket and just don't let him get outside and make plays outside the pocket. And number three, take advantage of their of their linebackers. And the reason I say that, their linebackers are going to have to sniff the box because of the way we ran the ball. And with them sniffing the box, um, you know, run our, run JK and run, you know, I don't know if Justin's going to be there, run them on a little – uh, out routes or, or overs or whatever just to get them in the flats and, and make those linebackers cover them. And then just beat them in the play action. Beat them with play action. When they sniff up and they sniff their nose in the line and try to, you know, stop the run, beat them with play action. And we got a pretty deadly play, off, play action game. So those are my three keys to victory. Um, got you out of here short and sweet. Uh, enjoy your Friday morning. It was a good game last night versus the Browns and, and Bengals. Uh, well, an uh, entertaining game, so to speak. But um, this is Coach Evans with Sid Tally Films, and uh, I'll see you guys Sunday after the game.
probably about an hour after the game for the post game show. I'll have the phones working. Make sure you come join in. Uh, give your thoughts on the game, good or bad. And um, that's it. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, share. Again, enjoy your weekend. See you Sunday after the game. Go Ravens. We'll be right